In today's video, we'll be painting these watercolor sunflowers together. I started out these sunflowers with a light pencil sketch and decided to paint two different tiny paintings. I found some very cute frames at Hobby Lobby the other day and I thought these would be perfect for the sunflowers. Once I drew out the sunflowers, I then began the first layer of paint. For supplies, I used Fabriano cold press watercolor paper, Neptune brushes, and paints from Prima Marketing. I used yellows from the Pastel Dreams pan set, green from the Classics pan set, and I used blue, green, and brown colors from the Decadent Pies pan set. I also used a beautiful gold paint from KMS Watercolor. You can find a list of all of the supplies I used in the description of this video. I'll first show you the process of this painting with the single sunflower, and then I'll show you the process of the painting with the two sunflowers. I started the sunflowers with a light reddish brown layer, leaving some areas white. For the leaves, I started with a light yellow-green color layer. Once that layer completely dried, I then painted a darker red-brown color in the shadows of the flower. Now I'm adding another layer to the leaves. This time, I'm just using the green from the Classics pan set from Prima Marketing. I didn't like how dull the green looked on the leaves in the first layer, so I wanted to brighten them up with this color. Once the previous layer on the flower dried, I added yellow to the petals. I used citrus from the Pastel Dreams pan set. I like this color because it's a beautiful golden yellow color. The color looks orange in the half pan, but when you paint with it, it's more yellow. I also added the yellow color called Bumblebee from the Pastel James pan set in some areas of the petals. Towards the base of the petals, I added more of the yellow color to make the petals look darker at the base. I did this to add more contrast to the flower and to also make the flower look more real because if you look at pictures of a sunflower or just in real life, the petals have shadows and are darker at the base. Next, I added a third layer of color to the leaves. This time, I mixed a bit of blue into green to make a dark blue-green color. And I added this green color more around the flower and less outside of the leaves. For the face of the flower, here I used a dark blue color. This color is Blackberry from the Decadent Pies pan set. Then I blended the dark blue color around the base of the petals. Here I'm using a gold paint from KMS Watercolor. I added it in some areas of the petals to add some shimmer to the painting. Then I added another layer to the face of the flower. This time I mixed the dark blue color with a red-brown color from Decadent Pies called Pecan. I also used this color to paint around the petals to create more shadows and contrast. And then I ended up adding a bit more of the blackberry color around the petals and in the center as well. As I am finishing up this flower, I added more yellow to the petals to brighten up the flower a bit. And I added a final layer to the leaves using a mixture of the dark blue and green color. And I added it more towards the base of the flower to give the flower more contrast. And here is the finished painting. I just love how cute this little sunflower looks. What do you guys think? So now I will show you the process of the other sunflower painting. The painting process is basically the same as the first painting, so I'll leave you to the speed paint 
Thanks for watching and subscribing to my channel. You all mean so much to me. Let me know in the comments if sunflowers are one of your favorite flowers. They're definitely one of mine. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoy the remainder of this video. And don't forget to have a great day.